Shut up and sit down. Yo, yo, people, and welcome back to another hardware review, and we are back with Vaptio. Yeah, so we're looking at the Hubble X with the, is it Grumpus or Grampus, I think it's called. We're going to call it Grampus Tank. Yeah, sub -ohm tank. Now, with, like, Vaptio, what they do is they sort of, like, mix the tanks around with their actual, uh, when they do a kit. Uh, so, like, when they did the Super Bat, you could either get it with a Throne Tank or you could sort of, like, get it with the uh, Frogman. Well, this is a little bit the same. The, you can either get the Apollo kit, or the Apollo uh, tank on it, or like what we've got, which is the Grampus. Yeah. So you might have the Apollo, and, and you might, or you might have the Grampus. They was actually going to call this something else. I think they were actually going to call it something like um, Explosion or Explorer, but they ended up calling it the Hubble X. It is a dual 18650. It is a touchscreen, sort of. Um... It's got 3 amp fast charging as well. So I'll tell you what, let's do what we normally do. Let's have a little look at the box. This is the box. This is everything you do get in the box. And that was the box. Let's have a little look around it. As you can see, it is fantastic plastic. Is that hardened plastic on there? It is an absolute fingerprint magnet <laughs> as well. Um, and some people don't like as well, as you can see as it goes around, the, the, uh, it's got the charging at the top near the 510. Some people don't like that. So let's go top to bottom the, on this. We'll start off with the Grampus. Every time I say Grampus, I feel like it's Christmas or something like that. Um, it is. It does sell Grampus. It, it does say that it's Vaptio. It is an 810 drip tip interchangeable if you have got your own. Also, it is a top fill, so you just unscrew. As you can see, you've got two big kidney wells there. Easy filling. They've got rid of that like sort of film that they were putting on a lot of their tanks. It used to annoy me that. Because if you couldn't quite get your nib in, it used to come out the top. It was like an anti-leak film on the top. But they've, they've actually got rid of that, which is pretty good. It is a 5mm tank. Now, it's got the A1 coils. Now, there's a number of the A1 coils. I will stick a little picture up on this one. But it only came with the A1. Um, so, And this one's, I think it's between 60 and 75 watts. And they're saying it's best between 65 and 70. Not much play on that, is there? Um, you have you have got uh, triple airflow on this. It is adjustable and it is very hard to, to move this around. Um, yeah, so you, you've got three of the airflows. It does lock off as you move it. You've got a slightly protruding 510 at the bottom. Not very much though at all. And that's roughly around the tank itself. Right, let's get on to the mod. We'll start top to bottom like we normally do. It is um, a 510 connection at the top. You have got that anti-leak uh, 510 on there as well. I'll touch on that a little bit more because th there's been a couple of problems since they brought that out. Um, and it roughly takes a, a 25mm atty on there. If you have a little look at the bottom, you've got your kite mark, don't vape in a bin, and you have got your battery venting. If you have a little look on the sides, you have got your fast charge. It is a C type charging as well. And obviously for your firmware upgrade, it is fast charging, 3 amp charging. But like I always say, I, I wouldn't charge it through this, use an external charger, but if you are caught short and you need to charge it, it is fast charging, it is type C. Not bad at all. If we move across to the side, you'll be able to see that it's got um, like a bar on, 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 on the side. And on that bar, what you do then is, is you press it and obviously that fires. But the it only fires halfway down. It feels like you can press the bottom, but it's about halfway down to fire it. If we have a little look on the back, you will be able to see it is. It does say Hubble, and you've got like this sort of like spaceship sort of thing on it. Um, like I said, it is. I'll just show you this. But it is a dual um, 18650, as you can see. Two big magnets on there, really big magnets, and fit on on that side as well. Nice and clicky. No janky doors or anything at all. So let's have a little look at the front of the mod, and we'll go through all the menus. It's five clicks on and five clicks off. As you can see, it does say Vaptio on the top. You've got a two-inch colour screen on there, and it is really vibrant. You've got what mode you've got it in, and then there's that little lock there. That shows you that the touchscreen buttons at the bottom are locked. 
You've then got your uh, battery indicator, tells you your watts. You've also got how many seconds you've had a puff for and your ohms. You can't quite see this, but it does say soft there. That's what sort of mode you've got it in. And then you've got voltage. Now to get into that, um, you can either go in the menu or you can click it twice and it'll move it to normal and then it'll go to high, and then you can take it back to soft. I normally actually have it on, on normal, but you can go in the menu and change this. Now, to get into the menu, it's three clicks, and then you'll see the buttons at the bottom. These do actually vibrate, and this is your touch screen, and it moves you around the actual um, the settings. So if you go into your settings, you've got your variable wattage mode, you've then got your temperature control, you've then got your curves, you've then got your bypass, then you can go to back, and then you've got, or it takes you straight to the home screen. Let's have a look at your variable wattage. Like I was showing you, it's high, soft, and normal. Like I said, I normally have it on normal. You can then round robin it. It goes either you can go back or you can go to your home. And you can do that as well by pressing it twice on the on the home screen. Then you've got your temperature control, your nickel, stainless steel, etc. Now you've got your curve mode, and you can have two of these. You can either have it, and it's like a graphic equalizer. You move it up and down. Start off at 20 watts and then up to 50, whatever you want to do it. And then again, you can come back out, either go to your home screen or back out. Then we have got your bypass mode if you want it like a mech mod. And again, it shows you back or to your home screen. Let's go back. Let's go into the settings. It does tell you the uh, version you've got. It tells you your vaping time and also your standby by time. You can change that, how long your, your screen's on there, your language, and then back out again. Now, I have had a look if you can change these themes, but they haven't done any actual updates. So you've only got this blue one and it does that powering on the front screen. So again, you just go back. And then we're on the front screen again. Now, as you can see, it's locked. So then buttons that we've been moving around, and they actually do vibrate. They're locked. So what you have to do is you sort of have to click it. Obviously, I haven't got a, an atty on there at the minute. So you have to click it. And as, it, as you'll see, it comes up and it says slide to unlock. You have to unlock it. And now that moves your wattage. It goes in single watts if you, if you just touch it. Or if you hold it in, it'll go up by 10 watts. All the way up to 220 watts. Now, if you just let it go and just, just leave it, you'll be able to see the lock will come on at the top. That means it's locked. You can't touch them buttons and it won't vibrate. Again, if you press it, obviously we've, we've got no atty on there. You have to wait for it flashing. Um, as you can see, slide it again and you can move the buttons and move the wattage up and down. So before we get into like the, the pros and the cons, I've got a couple of other things to show you. Now, Vaptio started doing this anti-leak 510. And we sort of had a problem with the tank screwing all the way down. I, I started noticing it when I did the uh, review for the Ironclad. The tank wouldn't screw down and it left about a gap that big. And it's obviously because of the the actual anti-leak 510. And that's what Vaptio said itself. So when I got this, I wanted to have a little look. This has got the, the actual anti-leak 510. I'll just uh, put a bit of focus on this so you'll be able to see. Go out of focus, it's not a bad thing. So if you have a little look, there is a tiny, and when I mean tiny, little gap underneath, but you can see it. If I show you. There you go, I think you can see it. There we go. There's a little gap underneath. So, that, that does me a bit OCD on that. But the other thing with this tank as well, when I screwed it all the way down and pressed it to vape on it, it comes up with short circuit. Thinking what? So then if you undo the tank a little bit like that and press it, it fires. So I'm thinking, is it the tank or is it the mod? So I took the tank off, stuck it on another mod. We've got the, the Aegis here, the Aegis, well it's like the solo, but it's the two in one. So I took it off, put it on this, now look. We're screwing it all the way down. Again, there is a tiny little bit of a gap underneath. Not loads, but there is a little tiny gap on there. And watch. It works. And it's screwed all the way down. So I thought, oh, it must be the mod. It must, it must be actually the mod itself. So I thought I'll get another tank on that and, and swap it around, see if, see if it's that. So I got the one off of the swag. Screwed that on it. All the way down on this mod. Again, there is a little tiny gap on this, so it's got to be that 510. Works. So that mod screwed all the way down. Uh, th sorry, that tank is screwed all the way down on that mod, and it's working. 
I just can't work it out. So the, the, the actual tank is working on another mod, and another tank works on this mod when it's screwed all the way down. I just can't work out if it's something to do with the the this anti-leak 510. I know we had a problem with the ironclad with it, uh, but that did actually work. Again, look, just to show you, that's screwed all the way down. And as soon as you do it, it comes up short circuit. You undo it a little bit, like that. And it fires. Strange. I have not got a clue. So the, the actual tank works on another mod screwed all the way down. And another tank works on this screwed all the way down. Weird. Another thing. You won't be able to actually see this now. Because the batteries have sort of worked themselves out. But after a little, maybe after say 10-15 minutes of vaping. All of a sudden the battery B indicator goes down. And the A stays normal. So I swap the batteries across. And it still said that the battery indicator B was down. So, how can it? If A's. Something not quite right with this mod at all. So, let's go to the pros and the cons. And we'll start off with the cons. Obviously, the tank bit of it is an absolute nightmare. I don't know if this is the same with the Apollo tank, because you can get this with the Apollo tank. I'm not quite sure. I have used this tank um, on another mod. I do like the A coils, the A1, the A2, the A3. Decent flavour, decent clouds off of it. Very nice, simple filling mechanism. They've got rid of that rubber bung on the top, so I'm pretty happy about that because it's an absolute nightmare. So the tank's all right if it actually fitted on the mod. Listen, <laughs> if it actually fitted on the mod. Let's talk about the mod itself. <laughs> Pros and cons, it's cheap plastic and it feels cheap in your hand it really does now you can get uh, from orgs vape i think it was a 200 something it was called uh, xr or something like that that's about 25 quid i've been looking in the uk you can't i've not found anywhere really where they're stocking this in the uk amazon did have it on but in the united states it's about still 79 dollars and it's fantastic plastic now you've got like these indents at the side here and then you've got your indent and it just feels horrible in your hand and when they're calling it a touchscreen, it's not really a touchscreen. The buttons at the bottom are touchscreen. That's all that it is, is the buttons at the bottom are touchscreen. Not the actual screen's touchscreen. It's just them. So, to me, it's not really a touchscreen. Not very nice in your hand. Fingerprint magnet as well. Um... Also, it is a 3 amp charging, and it is type C, but the charging port's at the top. I don't quite like that. It's a bit too close to your 510. Obviously, they've got the anti-leak. <laughs> uh, it's supposed to fire 0, 0. 0.0001 seconds. Doesn't seem, it doesn't seem that quick, quick to me. Um, simple menu, when you do get into it. It's a bit of an hassle, obviously, when, when you want to change your wattage. You've got to sort of like click it once for you then to slide it across. You don't change it all the time. You normally set it. Um, the menu is very, very simple. There's no more themes out there for it. I do like that the, the temperature control, the curve mode. It made it a little bit simpler with it being like a graphic equaliser. 18650, uh, sorry, dual 18650. Yeah. Not for me, people, and especially for the money. If it's seventy nine dollars, what would that work out? It's about sixty quid. I think you can actually buy the the other fantastic plastic one from Orgs Vape for about twenty five quid. Not bad if you want it for a work work uh, banger, but no, it's it's not for me. The menu is very simple on it. Uh, it's a bit of a gimmick, but it's to me, it's not a touch screen mod. So yeah, not 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 a one for uh, not not one for me. Thumbs down from little bro. Well, this has been another review by Little Bro. If you like the video, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. The subscribe button's in the corner. Give it a little press and get me to that new magic number. I'm also on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Go and hit me up, people. Also, as you can see, my Patreons are coming down there. Big love to them. Thank you very much. And if you want to support the channel, all you can do is click that button. But you don't have to do it. You don't have to do it. Especially in these hard times, make sure you look after yourself. Stay indoors. Wash your hands, people. And there's one last thing to say. Keep them juices flowing. Don't forget to check out my latest video. Also, don't forget to check out Three Men and a Vape Show live at 8 p.m. every Wednesday. And also, if you've enjoyed the video, make sure you subscribe, ring that notification bell, and we'll catch you later.